funerals. Can't live with them, can't live at all, really, because you have to be dead. Wait, that's a bad opening. Let's try again. Funerals. There are many different kinds to celebrate many different lives, and like weddings, they can be a major expense for your family. Except, unlike a wedding, you often don't have years to plan, save up, and choose seating charts. Death is like, surprise, we're doing this whole event now. It's no secret that funerals can be expensive. The average American funeral can cost anywhere from nine to $10,000 and go up to $20,000 if you have a more expensive service or casket or burial plot. So you might be asking yourself, where does all that money go? A full year's worth of rent money, a 2017 Nissan Versa's worth of money, where does it go? Well, here's a basic financial breakdown of a traditional American funeral. Basic service fee, $2,000. This is the price you pay to even get in the door as a client, to pay for filing the death certificate, permits, coordinating the funeral, and overhead for the company. You can't decline this fee. Transportation of the body, $325. Embalming, $725. Preparation of the body, washing, hairstyling, makeup, $250. Management and staff for the viewing, $425. Management of the funeral ceremony, $500. Casket, between $2,000 and $5,000. Purse, $325. Burial vault, $1,395. Flowers, from $500 to $700. Burial plot, $1,000 to $4,000. Headstone or grave marker, $1,000 to $5,000. Yeah, it's really starting to add up. And there are families, many families, in fact, that simply can't come up with $10,000 at a moment's notice. In fact, four out of 10 people said they couldn't come up with just $400 to cover an emergency expense. But the opportunity to have a viewing, to have ritual, to say goodbye in person, that is important. We've talked before on this channel about a direct cremation, which is the simplest, least expensive option for the family. But a direct cremation also means direct, do not pass go, no viewing, no seeing the body, no ceremony. So what we're here to talk about today is how at our funeral home, we work to combine a simple cremation with a viewing that still has ritual, still has meaning, and costs very little for our lower income families. To help us today, we have Susanna, our funeral arranger, you've met her before, and Marty, our volunteer corpse. Anything to say before you die, Marty? I was two episodes away from finishing Game of Thrones. Ah, well, that's what I get for procrastinating. So this is what we start with, a room that's been rented by the family, a funeral professional hired by the family, an unembalmed body, and the cardboard cremation container used for the cremation. So far, not really that inspiring, but this is where the magic happens. Let's set the scene. If this were a traditional funeral, there are so many more rules for how you do the clothes and how perfect everything has to be. I think the casual look is actually nicer yeah. for the family because it makes them feel more connected to the person and it makes them feel like they don't, it's not so formal. Yeah. They're not at like a black tie event that happens to have a dead body at it. Next thing we're gonna do is start draping the casket with these white sheets. And the benefit of these white sheets draped over this sort of unattractive cremation casket is that even though these are cheap, it, they really look like a million bucks. I had a family mention, it gives a snow white effect. Especially when you put flowers on it, which is coming. We're going around and we're draping these sheets over the edge of the casket until it completely hides the cardboard. Does anybody ever make me have like a peace sign goodbye, peace out sign? Uh, not yet, but we're open to any, any and all requests here. It's what the family wants. This industrial cremation lid is not something you would typically want at your viewing, but through the magical power of the white sheet, I am going to show you how to turn it into a lovely casket top. She's making some strategic cuts and it's just cardboard, so that's possible. And there he is. You can see with just the use of four to five white sheets, it went from this to this. 
These flowers are our secret weapon to make the casket look fantastic, but you might say, these look like big bouquets of expensive flowers. How do we get around that? I encourage my families to go to the flower district in downtown LA to purchase the flowers. How much were all of these flowers together? A whopping $36. This part of the flower arranging we usually like to have done before the family shows up for the viewing, but there is an interactive part that will come after this. And we just tell all the families to personalize it however they feel comfortable having the flower arrangements. A family might want to put a teddy bear in there, they might want to put jewelry of the person, they might want to put photos or mementos, letters, in, letters yeah. in with the flowers. Now that the casket is all set up, we're gonna do a few things to make the room seem more homey before the family arrives, including lighting candles, spraying sage, and doing some oil diffusion. The space is set, the family is about to arrive. Now any viewing that I have, I like to think about giving the family things to do. Most viewings, you're gonna walk in, here's your embalmed body, you walk over, you awkwardly tap the person on the hand, and then you go sit down. And that's the only interaction, the only thing you have to do during the viewing. One thing that we encourage is for the family members to write letters to the person who has died. And once they're done writing them, they can fold them into a nice little rectangle, bring them up and either tuck them around the person or even put them under the hand of the person so the message can go off with them into eternity. Another fantastic, more interactive ritual is after the viewing is finished, the family members can come toward the casket spray on top of the casket, pull their favorite flower, and create almost a ring, a halo, around the person's head. Finally, an oldie but a goodie is asking the family if they want to take a lock of hair from the person home with them. And if it makes them comfortable, we encourage them to do it, and we encourage them to actually be involved with the cutting of the hair as well. Hair is completely safe to take home, but it's also a recognizable, tangible part of the person who died. Even after the viewing, we encourage the family to come into our office and assist us with transferring the remains into the final urn. The widow, in this case, will come into the funeral home and Susanna will have her transfer the ashes into this small portion urn while she's guiding her. And there are stories shared and it almost feels like a final service is taking place. It's very simple and very easy for other funeral homes to offer their families as well. Final cost. If you're willing to leave the casket, the embalming, the vault, and the conventional burial behind for a family-involved viewing and cremation, $1,495. At our funeral home, at least. Results not guaranteed. What I always encourage people to do at funerals is to spend money on things that are meaningful to you. What makes a funeral a good funeral is the peace it hopefully brings you. I happen to think that peace comes with interaction with the body, the simple presence of the body, love and care shown toward the body. That's a final act of love that's deeply personal and that should not have a large price tag attached to it. Remember, if a funeral home won't let you do the things that we've suggested today, that is their right. They're a private business and they can choose what they will and will not offer. But you, as a consumer, have the right to call around and find another funeral home that supports you and supports your choices. As a final note, you may already know this from social media, but Undertaking LA, our funeral home, is no more. It has been reborn as Clarity Funerals and Cremations. And everything that was special about Undertaking LA is still there with Clarity Funerals. Our transparency, environmental focus, and dedication to family involvement will remain the same but this gives a model of funeral service that has a chance to grow. You can learn more about Clarity Funerals below. Thank you for being with me today. I hope you learned a lot. Thank you to Susanna. Thank you to Marty, our body. <laughs> <laughs> ah, did you tell him to do that? Yes. Yeah. No. This video was made with generous donations from death enthusiasts just like you. You're dead now, come towards the light. The afterlife is one big Instagram influencer shoot.